And <laughs> you know, it's great that we might finally have at least an afternoon ahead of us where the dogs yeah. can get out and have some fun in the weather. Oh, it has been so hard with Theta because our, our mm -hmm. my yard has been so muddy yeah. that, you know, <sighs> dealing with the mud. And yeah. Pet owners out there understand bringing all that inside. And, and, and you know, I, I think we're going to see a lot of our yards finally dry out this week. So it would be really nice to get that outdoor time in. Let's send you outside. That sunshine definitely helping. Temperatures hanging out in the low to mid 20s. So it is cold out there. That sunshine may be a little bit deceiving for now. Wind chill makes it feel like it is 16 out in the capital city. And our breeze really not even that hefty. Moving in from the south at five miles per hour right now. But just to tell you how cold it feels outside, uh, that breeze is definitely doing it. And with our winds from the south, that'll draw in some warmer air throughout the second half of the day today. And a few other folks are picking up on that wind chill as well. Kenton, it feels like it's 14, feels like it's 16 out in Marysville. That's not going to last all day long. Yes, we'll continue to see that breeze and you may even notice uh, that garbage can tipped over throughout the day today with that light breeze out there. But that breeze definitely going to help our temperatures later on this afternoon. We're going to climb into the mid 30s, closer to the 10 a.m. hour into the 40s around lunchtime before topping out in the mid 40s later on today. So you may still need that warm wear out there early this morning, but maybe you could shed a few of those layers as we head into the afternoon. I want to zoom out on our radar uh, system off to our south, providing some heavy rainfall, uh, even a bit of a wintry mix. That's going to stay south of us. High pressure is going to be our main key throughout the day today, really keeping that sunshine with us and a calm forecast on tap. It'll be cool to start, but milder air this afternoon as our temperatures make it into the mid 40s. We are expecting a weak cold front to move into the area late tonight, early tomorrow. That will allow for some chilly temperatures overnight, especially with our clear skies. But really not impacting us much. Not going to see any uh, precipitation from this, but it will allow for a slightly cooler start to the week before that mild air returns a little later on. And even uh, heading into tomorrow afternoon, really not going to feel that bad as you make it into the low 40s throughout the day on Monday, starting off into the 20s. So we're going to keep the calm conditions with us the next few days. So if you wanted to get a few of those outdoor projects done, this is the week to do it as we do have a nice stretch of some calmer weather. They're giving you that green light as you head into the next few days. Let's talk about our next system. We are going to see a weak disturbance move in on Thursday as our temperatures move into the 50s. We'll see the brief chance for a wintry mix. And again, not all models agree on this, so a little bit too far out to uh, really nail down that forecast. But just tuning back, keep tuning back in because we'll have some updates as we head throughout the week. We are confident, though, that we are expecting our next first alert day to be uh, next weekend as we see some heavy rainfall moving into the area next Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Something you could see here on our extended forecast. So let's take you to the next few days, making our way into the mid 40s this afternoon. Really going to feel nice out there with the sunshine. That cold front I talked about dropping us into the uh, 20s tomorrow morning into the low 40s during the afternoon and we'll have another day of abundant sunshine out there. Going to be really nice out there Tuesday and Wednesday, kind of the pick day of the week here as temperatures climb into the mid 50s. Brief chance for that wintry mix on Thursday. Again, models aren't in uh, total agreement, so something we'll be watching out for, but our next First alert day will arrive next weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday as we track our next stronger system, bringing some rain to the area. All right, thanks so much, Mackenzie.